We work very closely with Outbrain in Germany and the US and increasingly now in Europe, France, the UK, etc. Um, the teams there support us in understanding where the opportunities are, what publisher groups have a lot of potential and help us adjust our campaigns. Without Outbrain's support, without the account managers, the sales support, we wouldn't be where we are today. One of the big advantages of native ads is that you're reaching people at a very specific point in time. They've just read an article and they're ready to consume your content. And serving that content on the native feeds on Outbrain allows you to engage with people very effectively and push them through your funnel to take action on your website. One of the core advantages of Outbrain as a native channel, well, there's a couple, but one of the biggest ones, in my opinion, is the fact that they make native media buying very easy. You don't have to worry about bidding up or down on publishers. The algorithm does that for you, and you can invest your time in the creative process and into the funnels. On top of that, you have an exceptionally good level of support. If you have questions, you can talk to an actual person, unlike Google or Facebook, where you're often speaking to a chatbot or something, and uh, they'll solve your problems. They'll work with you to find a solution and help you to spend and keep spending at the performance that you're looking for. I mean, there's a lot of success stories. I think one of our most recent and, and our largest success story with Outbrain is a German insurance client that we have that is spending upwards of a million euros a month every single month of the year on Outbrain in Germany. It really helps and it goes to show how much support Outbrain provides us and what we've been doing with Outbrain to make sure big clients are spending money and reaching their KPIs on the platform. That's a good question. I think we've been seeing a lot of these trends already now in Q4. E-commerce is not where it used to be. You're seeing a lot of uh, lead gen picking up, a lot of people moving towards a, an upper funnel approach to their product. In general, consumers are more hesitant to spend their hard-earned money, so you need to convince them with a more thorough funnel or a longer funnel, or just shift your product to lead gen, capture leads, and then convert them via email or on the phone later. So I think, again, lead gen is where it's at in 2023. Working with Outbrain is smart. 